Greetings from the Black Country, guys. I'm back again with a few bits and pieces that I have had in my post. Let's get into it. I've got one bag. I've got two bags. These are some bits and pieces that I've bought off eBay. And this first bag, ooh, I am throwing them everywhere. I hope that wasn't the one I really wanted to show you, but I'm guessing we will find out later. It's just a bag of tokens. Now I bought this bag for one specific token and I haven't thrown it on the floor so we're all good but I will save that to a last. So we have a couple of these ones. They're just a Tempe leisure group token. Let me uh, fix you for a bit. You're a bit wonky. There we go. Got this... Uh, Random little one. This one. So what's going on here? There we go. That might be a bit better. There we go. Have this one. It's a trades market token. So I'm assuming it went on like a keyring or something, but it's quite cool. I like it. Got a couple more. Of those leisure tokens. I've actually got some of these in my collection already. Oh, this is a quite cool. I have a bell fruit 10p token. Another one of those associated leisure group tokens. I've got the same one, but I don't know if it's just tarnished or whether it's actually just in a different colour, but we like it. A bell fruit token. Another one of those leisure tokens. A JPM 10p token. I don't know what JPM is, but it's new to me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. This one's got a mobile phone on it. So it's Express on covers. And it's got like one of those old Nokia phones on. <laughs> 5110. I didn't have a 5110. I had a 5210. With Snake. The most indestructible phone that there ever was. Some more of those leisure tokens. A get town tele telephonico token. This is quite cool. It's got like these grooves mm. with a little telephone on. I like that one. A year, another Euro coin London one. This is a different design to, oh, to the one that we had in one of our world coin hunts recently. This one's got a pound on it and it's a national transport token. It's quite cool. One penny limited. If anyone's got any information on these uh, tokens, please do let me know. What some of them are i would love to find out more this one's got the four leaf clover on it it's quite cool now this is the entire reason why i actually brought this bag of tokens it's a little lady walking a dog now maybe this was used in a dog park so you have to have this token to go and walk your dog but if you turn it over, there's a little dog. I, I just thought this was the sweetest little thing and I was just like, I need it. <laughs> I need it in my life. 
Like, I, lo I love it so much. It's just beautiful. Absolutely love it. Right, let's just, just gather these up. London Year of Smoking, come back. Second bag. The second bag is a bunch of coins from Jersey. Now again, I brought it for one specific coin. I love all Jersey coins. I will forever love all Jersey coins. Any Jersey coin is welcome in my collection. But I'll go through these ones first. So this one. Is an old style 10 pence. You always forget how big these were. We have a normal size 10 pence. Well, not a normal size, you know, like a new size 10 pence. Have another one of those 10 pence. Now, this is so shiny, this one. Another 10 pence, 10 pence or 10 pence. We have another 10 pence, but this time it's got the three lines on. We have an old five pence. Look at the size of that is literally the same size as our new current 10 pence nearly. It's crazy to think that they used to be in our pockets. Another 10 pence. We have five pence, number five pence with the uh, sh lines and shield on. Another old score five pence with the castle. Castle tower on. Now this one, that's right, it's very big grubby, this one. I think this one's one fourth of a shilling. But oh, super nice. We have half a new penny. We have one of these. It's a pound. Now <clears throat> Sorry guys, I love the shape of these pounds. Oh my god, I just think they're so cool. I'd love to have a square coin or a diamond coin, like in circulation now. I think it would just be really nifty, really cool. We have a 20 pence. And then these two, these are again, they're one fourth of a shilling. But these ones were new to my collection. I didn't actually have any of these in my jersey collection. So, that's cool. Tell one's in slightly better condition than the other one. So we'll have a, a nice look at this one. Like the difference between that and that. I think I prefer this shape of this sort of but the main reason why I brought this little lot like I'd have probably bought this anyway because it's a bunch of jersey coins but look at this so it's a big coin as you can see but it's a 25 pence Balwick of Jersey, and let's just have another little zoom in. I just thought that was such a sweet little design. Like you got like the fishing boats and the island behind. And I just really enjoyed the coin. So let me know what your favourite was, guys, out of the jersey and the tokens. I've got to say, I like this one. And, of course, 
the little lady walking her dog. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you collect tokens, what sort, what sort of fancy tokens you've got in your collection. I quite like them. I like a good token. Some people don't like them. But that's why coin collecting is such an interesting hobby. Because people collect different things for different reasons. And that's okay. You don't have to know everything about every single coin that you have. Or every aspect of coin collecting. To enjoy the coins and enjoy what we do. And it's, it's so nice that there's so many different varieties of coins. And people who collect coins. That we can all come together and talk about our favourite thing and our hobby. And it's just a nice community to be in. And I'm waffling now, guys. So let me know what your favourite was. And I'll see you again for more coins. More bits and pieces. More press pennies. More world coins. More coin sets. Just more coins in general. See you later, guys. Bye.